So this year in my middle school robotics class, I'm trying a new project where students have to create a robot that can go five feet without the use of any wheels. And today is race day, and first place in the race will receive a 100. And I actually asked the students how they felt about the grading system. They're like, ah, oh, that seems pretty fair. So they're gonna be graded um, on a exceeds expectations, meets expectations, and below expectations kind of scale. And I think we have some visitors over here. And it'll be built on based on their creativity as well as their build and see if their robot can actually go five feet high or not. Additionally, I am also creating a robot along with them and actually we went to go see Sarah's dad who's an engineer and we tried a few things with some gears. But they didn't end up working so I'm gonna try a simpler design. So let's take a look at some of their projects that they're working on. <laughs> you gonna be ready for race day? Uh, uh, maybe, probably. probably. What you guys got so far? Um, uh, we got a robot. You got a robot? What are you gonna try to do now? We're uh, trying to like connect it and so it will like move together at the same time. How's the progress? Bad. Pretty bad, yeah. What do you got going on? Why is it bad? I don't know. It just doesn't work. What do you have? Oh, it's just not connecting. I have no idea. I think we need better support. Here's mine. Rubber band for grip. Now, we can't use wheels in a traditional sense, but these things rotate. These guys have got some wheels, but they don't spin. They're more just for grip. So, we'll see. No, but we don't want it to fall. We have our lifting too much weight. Hey, Yes, I will marry you. Down the stairs. Here's the wires. Garrett and Ben found out where our third place is going to be since they were already done. And I didn't know where our third terrain should be. They're getting three terrains. One on desk, one on carpet, and this third mystery terrain. Up this hill or maybe down the hill? Right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be good. So we changed up some stuff, like I switched the motors around. So what I did is I just messed the motors and turned them upside down, sort of. Originally you had two of these, right? Yeah, but I turned the motors upside down and put them a little bit more center. And so I see that... No, no, not that. wrapped it around here so you should try to do something like that and I'll make your robot. Look at your What's the plan, Calvin? What are you trying to change? I'm trying to like make the wires like not like be on the floor so I'm trying to like stand it up and like loop it around. Yeah, I don't know. They're getting in the way? Yeah. 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 So this is one terrain. That's another terrain. Make sure the back of your robot is touching the back of the table. One minute to make any last modifications before we go to our terrain outside. We got first. With one wheel. Oh yeah, here's the other one, Tom. Did you already take it apart? <laughs> what did your robot do well and what would you have done differently? I mean, we did this all in one day because we both were late with the project before. That's something we shouldn't have done. Get turning. 
The turning part? And more oh, stable. Yeah. Being more stable. Yeah. How did uh, your robot perform? It well, was good. We won one race. We won one race. It didn't move very fast. It moved really slowly. The other days, like, the motor kept on coming off. It would, like, flip over. Or it will like keep on like going to side or what move into the And you solved all those problems today? Yeah. Okay. Literally right before the race started it carried itself and it traveled so like far every rotation. At the end we realized that this piece, this piece always came off like this, like that. And also the support was not so great on our robot. So we won two races out of three, but we had to nudge it a ton and it wasn't really accurate. What do you mean accurate? Like, it wouldn't go straight. We added more wheels, more of the, more which wheels. made it better. More stability, but Stab it, oh, it was just more stable. So I think this project as a whole was a success. After all the races were done, and students that maybe didn't get full 100% credit because they didn't end any of the races in first, we're a little disappointed in that and saying like, oh, exceed like, expectations should be more than 100 and meet expectations should be 100. Um, but I disagreed with that. Um, but it was interesting. <laughs> they were on board with it in the beginning and then not so much after the results came in. I actually got the idea from another teacher that I'll link right here if you're interested in seeing how he does it there. Uh, and thanks for watching and I will see you next week.